Hello, my little yarnivores and spiderettes. Fiber Spider back again with a lot of Happy Mail unboxing. Oh my dear gosh, there's a lot here and I hope we can get through it all today. I hope you guys are doing well. It's a bit of a rainy day here, but this really brings some sunshine to my day. Thank you so much in advance. Um, and uh, also, again, Congratulations to my winners from my last vlog video, uh, David Browning. He did a really neat little unboxing video on his channel. Go check him out. Uh, he does some really nice work, by the way. And so he unboxed that on video, and I, it was really nice, and it was, it was sweet, and I appreciate that. Um, also, as far as my other two winners, Lena did get in touch with me. However, uh, it was... Kerry Wesley. I just want to make sure I'm saying it right. Kerry Wesley. I still need to get, I need your info. Please get in touch with me either through Facebook Messenger or through my Etsy store. You can send me a message through my Etsy store. The link to that is in the description box down below. So Kerry Wesley, please do get in touch with me because you have a package from Hirschner's waiting for you. I just need your address. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and so that being said, yes, we have a lot to get through today. Uh, I hope I can get through all of it because you know I'm very talkative and wordy. I just, I can't help it. Um, and uh, so good news. Very, very good news. Uh, this hat that I, so many of you have written such awesome sauce comments on and how you like it and everything and you want a tutorial? Well, guess what? You're getting one tomorrow. You're getting a tutorial. Yes. Um, actually, ooh, this is the exact hat that I made in that tutorial. And so this one was the pumpkin spice in Pound of Love, and this one was the Oxford Grey. So yes, Tomorrow, that will be the tutorial. Um, I have been hard at work. And also, among other things, I have been fiddling and finagling with some different ideas. Now, a while back, I did do a Mobius wrap shawl type doodad. Well, I've been fiddling around with it. Now, I'm not saying that this is anything particularly innovative, but you guys know I love the granny stitch. So I thought, how cool would it be if I could do a Mobius granny cowl? Hmm. That also is somewhat convertible. I'll show you what I mean. Um, but first, I want to take this off so it's a little bit easier. Give me one second. I'll be right back. All right. So this is my first attempt. Now, this was made with Lion Brand's Mandala Tweed. Didn't even use a whole cake. Um, and I really like how this came out. Now, putting it on, it's got a lovely twist to it. I love the color changes. And yeah, it is It is a Mobius. Um, and so the sort of convertible aspect of it, got to find the right edge here, is it is also a hood. Yes, it is a hood. And now with a lot of sort of infinity scarves and so forth, um, you have like this massive drape and it's sort of like you, you take that giant loop and then you twist it, fold it in half and put both loops over your neck. Well, with the Mobius, you've got the twist built right in and it is long enough. The back of my neck is completely covered. And so you have yourself a pretty cool sort of hooded cowl snood scarf thing. I don't even know what I would call it exactly, but I really like how it came out. And yes, I look, I look like, you know, one of those old, like those Russian nesting dolls <laughs> with a babushka. <laughs> um, but I think it's actually pretty cool. And then, so I, tweaked it a little bit more. Now for this one, this is a worsted weight of yarn. 
and I used a size J crochet hook and a set number of stitches. And then I tweaked a little bit more. And this, this is with a finer weight of yarn. And this is an ice yarn uh, in, I think it's a merino wool batik. And I love the colors, in case you couldn't tell. So this one I did with a size H crochet hook and more chains to compensate for uh, the, the thinness. And so I made this one as well. And this one, I totally can see myself wearing at work because it gets cold, but not necessarily as a hood, but as, as a sort of neck scarf cowl. And then if it's like really, I can always put it up and wear it as a hood as well. I really like this. This was so easy to make. I did this in about an evening. Very, very simple. And you're just going around and around and around. But again, you have to incorporate the twist. Otherwise, it won't work. So that is potentially on the docket. Um, not this weekend, but at some point. So just, you know, a little, little sneak peek for you. And my head is chilly. There we go. All right. So enough of that. Um, also, um, been doing a lot of watching of Netflix lately, hashtag not sponsored. Um, and, uh, I did see some pretty good movies lately. Uh, really excited about the new season of American Horror Story coming out today. Didn't get a chance to see any of that because I don't have cable. Um, yeah, it's called 1984 and it's sort of a, an homage to the horror films of the 80s, like uh, Friday the 13th, which ironically, it's Friday the 13th. <laughs> but I'm, I'm not superstitious. Oh, no. Knock on wood. Um, and so I'm really excited about that because I love the American Horror Story series. Love those. Also, um, there's another one that I checked out on Netflix called Cadaver. I thought it was really well done. It was more of a dramatic thriller than an out-and-out -out horror movie. Um, a little bit predictable because I've seen a million horror movies, but I thought it was very well done. Then also I saw another one. It was a movie in Hindi with subtitles um, called Pihu, P-I-H-U. Really good, but it was a white knuckle movie. It's about a little girl who's home alone. She's two years old, and it is every parent's worst nightmare. I didn't know whether I was going to cry or jump out of my skin because it was so... <gasps> but I thought it was really good. I thought it was very well done. Um, but it, if you are a parent, you might not want to watch it. Uh, I almost didn't finish it, but I thought, wow, this is some intense stuff. But at any rate, I digress. Okay, so enough of Netflix reviews and works in progress and finished objects. Let's get to the fun stuff. Let's get to the happy mail. Okay. All right, so I've got a lot of packages to get through, a lot, but it just shows how sweet you guys are, and I really appreciate it. And yes, I'm using the same scissors. Um, and I spoke to Dora's, and thankfully, the, the boxes that she sent me do not look nearly as Fort Noxy as the last time. So this, this is from I Don't Know. Um, it's it's a Amazon shipping. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Now, I think this is from my friend Joanna, I think, because she did say that she was going to send me munchies, because you can never have too many munchies. So I think this is from Joanna. I'm just trying to get into the bubble wrap. There we go. Now, it's a brand called Catonia. Catonia. 
goodness. <gasps> oh, yeah, this this is from Joanna because she's like, what's your favorite cookie? And I said, well, I like macaroons. Macaroons! Coconut macaroons! Ah! <laughs> I love these. And it's keto friendly. Or is it keto? Keto or keto? It's the K-E-T-O. Oh, low carb, gluten free, grain free, no added sugar, third party lab tested. Wow. <laughs> Hashtag what diet? <laughs> oh wow. Thank you. I yeah, I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that this is from Joanna. Thank you so much. I love these. Now there's also macrons or macrons, um, which are sort of like the sandwich cookies. I haven't had those, um, but I know that there is a difference between macaroon and macron or macron. I do know that there's a difference. Um, and, uh, so that is really awesome. Thank you. Actually, I'm still working through some of the previous Munchables that were sent to me. Um, and I appreciate it ever so much. Um, I'm still working through the coffee. I'm still on the, the first bag of the two and I got through most of the, um, wasabi flavored peas. Now I'm working on the wasabi flavored, um, uh, almonds, and I also, the, the sriracha dried peas, those were really good. I've never had sriracha before. All right, now this, <gasps> oh, oh, Joanna, oh my God. See, I know that this is from Joanna because also I said how much I liked rainbow cookies. These are the bomb. Oh my gosh, these are so good. Not even funny. They're called rainbow cookies, Italian rainbow cookies. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Because it's three really decadent layers of like an almond cake with raspberry in between and it's covered with chocolate. Now, at one point, my mom actually used to make these but it's a lot of work because you have to bake each of those three layers individually. And then uh, after you bake them, then you have to put the, the raspberry on there. And then you then have to cover it in chocolate. Then after that's hardened, you have to flip it over and cover that in chocolate. It's a lot of work. So I don't blame her. But, oh, my mom's going to be so jealous. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, Joanna, thank you so, so much. Mm. 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 Thank you. Um, and also, I got my um, Crafty Housewives uh, fiber for this month as well. So I want to open that up. It's just, it's like Christmas in November. It's a little bit early this year for me, I guess you could say. This is fabulous. And actually, I have been spinning a little bit more, but I've been so busy with crocheting, it's not even funny. <gasps> Ooh, this is nice. This is one of their nicer ones, I think. This is gorgeous, because you've got like a hint of blue, a hint of gray, and then some fiery tones. This is so lovely. Mm. <laughs> I'm excited. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh. I already started working on one of them uh, that I had gotten from Craft Crafty Housewives. I love their braids. I do. Not sponsor. Um, <laughs> but I do love the work that they do. Some more than others, but overall, I am not disappointed with what I get from them. I'm really not. I love what they do. All right. So we have some letters. We have some more packages. Let's keep going. Let's forge ahead. <laughs> By the way, um, yes, I am using the mug that I got recently. And the coffee is one of the coffees that I got from Joanna. You guys spoil me rotten. Rotten to the core. And I'm so appreciative of it. You guys are so sweet. I love it. Thank you. And... I love this mug still. I'm still washing it by hand and I'm not putting it in the microwave um, because I don't know. But I, I, some people, they err on the side of caution. I err on the side of paranoia. That's what I always say. So we've got some, some letters here. 
Now this is from Mary Jo Bruce. It doesn't say do not open on camera, so I'm going to open it on camera and see. I may not read it on camera, but I'm going to open it. Mary Jo, you are such a sweetheart. Such a sweetheart. And yeah, I saw that, that pattern that you sent me. That was really cute. Thank you. You know, it's copyrighted up the up the up. Um, so I, uh, won't be able to do a tutorial of that, but for me, thank you. I appreciate that. Now this appears to be a card. Oh, it's a kitty. Gotta love the kitty. Little kitty, kitty. Mm, cute kitty. It looks so serious. And, oh, how appropriate. Thank you. This is a little card and this Dante Alighieri, and it is The Divine Comedy by Dante with translation. It's it's like one of those cards. It's not really one of those cards, but it's like one of those cards that you would find in the old card catalog filing system. That's so sweet because, yeah, I've been doing Dante's Divine Comedy, um, you know, as one of my audio narrations. Thank you. That's so sweet. And then there's a little envelope for said card that is really cute and very very appropriate thank you that's that's very sweet of you thank you um oh greetings from texas i'm not writing on the enclosed note card so you can use it yourself i'm looking forward to the celtic weave hat video you really are the best, Mary Jo. Oh, you're the best. We could, we could go, we, well, fisticuffs, I'll fight you. Cause you're the best. I'm not the best. You're the best. <laughs> you get that title. <laughs> That's so sweet. Thank you. So sweet. And I've got another, and this is from Yarn It Out in Buffalo. Oh, how cute is that? It's a little gnomey. You guys are my gnomies, because I'm hanging with you. I'm hanging with my gnomies. And yes, I. by the way, I did give that bookmark counted cross-stitch kit. I gave that to my mom that very night. I did. I did. I didn't want to, but I did. I have so many projects, really. I mean, it's okay. I'll, I'll survive. Well, a little early, but it's cute. Merry Christmas. <laughs> little puppers. It's okay to be early. That's fine. Uh, from one yarny New Yorker to another. Thanks for all you do. Happy New Year. From Rosalie. I think that I the handwriting's a little difficult, but hey, nothing wrong with being early. Thank you, because you never know what, you know, with the, the post office. You never know. For me, they've always been really good. So it says, wishing you happy times, sweet surprises, and all the special joys of the holiday season. Thank you. Very much appreciated. Thank you very much. Um, and I've got another one right here in a very serious looking manila envelope. And this is from... I believe Georgia. I don't see a a name on here, so let's take a look, see, shall we? My guess, my offhand guess, is that it might be a pattern. I don't know. That they didn't want to fold. I don't know. Let's see. Can I get this open? Ah, I'm getting there. Whoa. Wow. My goodness. Um, okay. This is a really, really long letter. Um, Okay. 
Now, I don't know who this is from because it's not signed, but this is a really, really long thing. I'm seeing a lot of information on COVID and Dr. Fauci and shutdowns and natural herd immunity and doctors and nurses. This is this is an Amazon and Bible states and pandemic and Bible verses. Okay. Okay. Um, you know what? Um, I'm not going to read this on camera because I don't know. I'm not going to read all of this on camera. Um, but, uh, okay. Thank you for the information. I I'll read it. Um, but, um, I was hoping it was going to be a pattern. <laughs> no offense whatsoever intended. Um, okay. All right. Well, um, on that note, um, I'm, I'm still, you know, being safe. I practice social distancing. Uh, I just got a, a really cute mask with a, it's a black mask with a white mustache on it. I really like it. And I actually have two more on their way. Thank you for the thought. I will read it, um, but I'm not going to read it on camera because I'm not part of any sort of political agenda or anything like that. I just think that everybody should be safe, you know, and, you know, even, even if, even if, you know, uh, there isn't any danger, I would say better safe than sorry. So me, I wear a mask, you know, and I encourage others to do the same, but you do you, boo, you know, but I'm going to do what I want to do. And I think that other people should, but I'm, I'm not going to, you know, dictate what people should do, but I, I care, you know, and I care about myself. So I'm doing what I can to maintain my own health. And, you know, I would like others to do the same, you know, so I always say, you know, stay safe. So that's what I do. At any rate, um, that was interesting. Okay. So I got some more packages. So Let's press on, shall we? Okay. All right. So I've got like four more to go. I know. My goodness, right? All right. So this is from Victoria in Toronto, Ontario. I'm going overseas. I'm, I'm not literally going overseas, but you know what I mean. Oh, I'm excited. Now this, this is, this is swooshy. I'm thinking this might be yarn. If it is, that would be really, really, really awesome. So a preemptive thank you to Victoria from Canada. Thank you. I've always wanted to visit. Always, always, always. <gasps> it's yarny, but it's not actually yarn. Oh, okay. First, we got to read this. Got to read this. <gasps> Whoa. There's a, there's a label in here. This is a label for, sorry. Lion's Pride Wool Spun Yarn. Thank you for adding the tag, by the way. And, oh! Oh! Ah! Look! Somebody drew a picture for me. There I am, wearing my hat and my glasses and my, my beard, my scruffy. Oh, and a really beautiful monarch. That is so definitely a monarch. And it's from Alexis. Oh. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh. Mm. Dear Fiber Spider, thank you for everything you've done for all of your subscribers. You have taught me and my new You've taught me my new favorite hobby. Since watching your videos, I've made tons of hats, scarves, and blankets. You have inspired me so much, and even my daughter wants to learn now. I hope you like this scarf I made you first time doing a granny stitch. Thanks again for everything from Victoria and Alexis. So yeah, Alexis, you did a great job. You got all the details. You got all the details in there. And yes, you got the eight legs and, you know, well, if, if I were a black widow, I would have the little red hourglass. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not a black widow. I'm a happy spider. 
<laughs> but that's so sweet. Thank you so much. Oh, now let's see what's in the bag. Thank you. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. This is beautiful. This is so lovely. Oh, it's a corner to corner. I that is a great use of the yarn because it's got that that colorway striping changing thing. This is gorgeous. Thank you. Oh, this is so lovely. Thank you. I love it. I love the colors. And the length is good. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. And also, again, thank you for putting in the label so I know what it is. So I know how to care for it and everything. Thank you so much. Oh, Victoria, Alexis, I'm pretty sure. Yes, Victoria and Alexis. I hate messing up names. So I just, I always like to double check. Thank you so very much. I, again, my mom is going to eat her heart out when she sees that picture. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, I feel warm and fuzzy, literally and figuratively. <laughs> thank you. All right, so I've got three more boxes to get through. This one, I don't know who it's from, but it's, oh, no, I do. Sorry, it's from Sheila in MA. That's Maine or Massachusetts. I think that's Maine. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where's my cheat sheet? Because I, I want to be right. I got to break out that cheat sheet. M-A. Massachusetts. Okay. Maine is M-E. Okay. So Massachusetts. <laughs> yep. I am forever spastic when it comes to geography. So Sheila, thank you. And let's see what there is to see. Very exciting, as always. Okay, that's one side. I love that scarf. That is so sweet. And the picture, oh. I love it. Actually, there's uh, a patron, um, this adorable little boy, um, who colored a, a picture for me and I have it hanging up in my locker at work. And he calls me Mr. Quag. Mr. Quag. He's adorable. He's such a sweet, sweet kid. All right. I think I had too much confidence in myself. There we go. Oop. And there's a car. There we go. Okay. Gotta open the card first. Ah, you can open this. Thank you. Sorry. Sorry you're getting this late. Hey! <laughs> I'm not an artist, lol. No, oh, that's cute. He's knitting. A little knitting spider. That's cute. I can tell. You know, a little skein of yarn, some knitting needles. It's cute. Don't put yourself down. That's my job. It's my job to put myself down. I'm all about self-deprecation. Across the miles to you, falling leaves, warm thoughts, happy smiles. It's Halloween. Hey, it's one of my favorite holidays, so why not? It's all good. Thank you. And then inside, whoa. Let me see. Okay. Hope you enjoy the box of fun. Thinking of you at this bright and beautiful season and wishing you a Halloween that makes you smile. With all my appreciation for everything you do, love, Sheila. Hello, Fiber Spider. I just wanted to send you a few things I thought you might like. I had some things that have been sitting around and I just didn't know what to do with them. Hey, I understand. Thank you. Um, I thought you might be able to figure out what they could be made into. Hmm, sounds like a challenge. I love watching all the videos that you do on YouTube. I learned so much. In fact, I have made several Afghans for my family and friends just from watching you. You take the time and explain very carefully every step. 
You are a very caring man. Well, if nothing else, I'm a very caring man. I try, you know. Sometimes I even succeed. So let's see what's the goodies. Ooh. My goodness. All right. Wow. Okay. Well, we have two things wrapped up. I, they feel like Hanks. I don't know yet, but we will find out soon. Now, there are a bunch of these milk cotton, 100% soft acrylic. It's ironic that they say it's milk cotton, yet it's acrylic, but this is soft. Say milk cotton, but it's acrylic. Kind of an oxymoron. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They don't lie. It's soft. <laughs> This is gorgeous. So there's, what, three skeins of this really beautiful colorway, which is, let me see here. Do, 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 do. Well, it's 50 grams, I think, but it doesn't say what the weight is or what the colorway is, but I love it. It's gorgeous. Um, and then I've got three of this colorway. Makes me think of Punky Brewster, but in a good way. That's really pretty. And then I've got three of this colorway. Really nice. I would say this is like a weight of two, maybe three. This I think this is like a weight of two. This would be good for maybe making some... Uh, gloves or fingerless mitts or socks. I don't know, but I'll figure it out. And then we've got two things that are wrapped up there. Oh my, I need a bigger room. Okay, so let's see what's behind curtain number one. <gasps> oh! Oh! This is gorgeousness incarnate. Oh. Oh, it's from Crafty Housewives. Because I've never gotten yarn from them. I've only gotten um, uh, uh, fiber from them. And I got my, my wheel. Wow. Okay, so this is Merino Bamboo. Okay, it's 560 yards, and it's called Clover Honey, or Clove Honey, I can't tell, but this is gorgeousness. Wow, this is really nice. I love the mix in there. I love that. That is so cool. And then there's another one. Let's see what's behind curtain number two. Oh, it's another one. Ooh. Yes. Actually, that's really cool because I love having yardage. So there's two of them. Oh, that that is awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. So appreciated. I mean, th this is like the icing on the cake. Seriously, this is awesome. I love the color. I love the feel in tandem. Oh, 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 oh. oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Much, much, much appreciated. It's, it's going to get some good use. And again, my mother's going to eat her heart out. <laughs> Thank you, Sheila, so very, very much. I, I, I need like somebody get the paddles, you know, you know, clear, <laughs> you know, I'm okay. We've got two more boxes and they are hefty boxes. So let's crack those open. Shall we? <sighs> let's go. All right. So now both of these boxes are from Rose Crochet Studio. This is from Doris. Thank you very much, Doris. Doris and I, we've been in touch and... Oh my God. Oh. 
So I knew that these were on their way, but I was saving them for opening them up on camera because I love opening stuff on camera, showing you guys all the, the beautiful generosity that you all share. And I really appreciate it. I do. And you guys know one of my mottos, appreciate everything, expect nothing. And it goes a long way. Oh my goodness gracious me. I've got my work cut out for me, don't I? Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, and these are an interesting sort of meshy, meshy bags here. I love the bags, actually, and I love the yarn. Now, I don't know what the yarn is because there are no tags, but this, this makes me think of an acrylic, maybe even an acrylic cotton blend, but there's five of these in this bag. Again, the bags are awesome. You know, these, these are totally going to get used. Uh, so I've got five of those. Really cool. And then, oh my, oh my, my, oh, oh. Okay. So there's six cakes in here and then five cakes in here. Oh, wow. Now, let me see. Ooh. Ooh. Very, very pretty. I love the color. It's like a wine color, like a deep Merlot. Um, and I would say it's like a three or a four weight. It feels like an acrylic. I can't be 100% sure, but I love it. Absolutely love it. Now, Doris, if you remember what these yarns are as far as what they're made of, please let me know, um, either through a private message or a comment or what have you. Please let me know because I, I like to know these things. That way, um, I know how they can be cared for. Oh, that that's not even all of it from the one box. Okay, then. Ooh. Okay, so this is... In a language I cannot read. Um, oh, Paris Blue Shades Silver. Hmm. Okay. How do I get in? Uh, there we go. Okay. I want to get in. And there are, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, like five skeins of this. This is gorgeous. It, it's got like a, a tweed thing going on here. That is gorgeous. Love it. Now this one feels like there might be some wool in here, actually. This is really nice. And there's a lot of yardage. My gosh. I'm going to get some mileage out of that. Whoa. Okay, now. Oh, man. Oh, I think I know what these are. Yes! Ooh, I haven't worked with these in ages. Karen Latte Cakes. Remember these? Haven't worked with them in so long. They're so much fun. So I've got two colorways. Sorry for all the crinkliness. So I've got this one. Actually, I have worked with. This is blackberry. So pretty. I, I think I, I think I used this for when I did my granny star blanket tutorial. It's so soft. Love it. For those of you that don't know, it is 8.8 .8 ounces, 58% acrylic and 42% nylon. It is machine washable and dryable. And it is a weight of five, although not really. It's more like a, a fuzzy four. Um, but it's so pretty. So I got two of these. And then here, because I was thinking about using this again for a project, but there you go. And I got two of these. This is gorgeous. This is Earl Grey. That's so pretty. Thank you. My gosh. Okay, and this is only one of the boxes. 
I have my work cut out for me. And I know I keep saying that, but it's it's the truth. My gosh. Okay, so let me get myself a little situated because I'm a little a little discombobulated and I lost something. Ah, there it is. And we will get into the next box. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, last but certainly not least, yes, I've got another box from Rose Cottage Studio from Doris. Thank you once again. Whew. Okay, now let me see what we got here. Oh my. Okay, we have... Oh, you really wedged this in here. I mean, I bet you are a whiz at playing Tetris. Wow, this is really pretty stuff. Oh, now is this another bag of the same thing? Uh, no, I don't think so, but we will get to that. Okay, so in here, in this pretty bag, ooh, ooh, this looks like it might be, I'm thinking, uh, an Angora, maybe, like an Angora blend. This is really pretty. It's got that foof. That sort of, that like halo to it. That is really pretty. And there are six of these cakes. That is a lot. This could make up a really cool, very wispy shawl, I think. that That's where my mind goes. Something very wispy, very airy, very pretty. And then in this bag, let me see here. I think it's more, actually, no, I do think it's more of the same thing that wasn't actually put into cake form. This is in its hank form. Look at that fluff. And I'm, yes, I'm, Doris, let me know, but I'm pretty sure this is the same stuff, but it's in its, uh, its foof form. <laughs> so it just needs to be uh, caked up or balled up. This is some gorgeous stuff. Actually, there are, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Jeez, six of these in the bag and another six. I can make a whole blanket. My God. Whoa. You really know how to spoil a guy. <laughs> whoa, whoa. All right, now in here, there is a bag. Uh, it's called Lighthouse Haven. And this looks like a four or a five weight, maybe. Uh, maybe a four. Oh, they call it a five. Um, let's see. There, I can read this one better. It is 55% acrylic, 45% cotton, machine wash, dry flat. And yes, weight of five bulky. And it is 56 yards. That's really a lovely sort of cream color. It's very pretty. Yeah, it's good. It gets the seal of approval. Oh, that's neat. I like that. Not entirely sure what I'm going to do, but I'll figure something out. And then last but not least in this box, we have ourselves a whole mess of ice yarn. Now there are, okay, so there's six little skeins in this bag. There's four of these bags. Oh my. <laughs> now let me see specifically what we have ourselves here. This looks like it might be like a, a nylon or something. Let me see here. And it looks like it's not completely solid, like it's like a, an ombre or something. I, I can't quite tell, but it looks like it, like a variegated, subtle variegated ombre. Oh, it's cotton. Cotton, it's a fine cotton. Okay. 100% mercerized cotton. It is a weight of two. 50 grams, 125 meters. And this is an ice brand. Not sponsored, not affiliated. Um, I have used their yarn a bit. As far as the business that I've done with them, buying from them, um, 
I find that their prices are awesome. Their shipping is steep. That's the trade-off. But they've got a really cool selection and the price of their own, which they have a lot of it on sale quite often. Um, this is some really nice stuff. And there's a ton of it. I have no idea what I'm going to do. I'll figure it out at some point. <laughs> <laughs> this is gorgeous. See, this this is the kind of stuff that would be really cool for a, a tablecloth, this stuff here, um, or a really mag, you know, uh, I was going to say magnanimous, but like a really like in, intense uh, tablecloth doily kind of thing. It's good to use the, the crochet cotton for. That is a lot. Oh my. Um, I'm really excited though about that this stuff, the, this one, the blue, very excited about that. Can't wait to work with that at some point with something. I have no idea what, oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, wow. Wowie, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, geez. <gasps> okay. Now that I have officially suffered from, uh, an extremely good emotional upheaval. <laughs> wow, I've got munchables, I've got yarn, I've got a new scarf, I've got just the best viewership. You guys are so sweet. Thank you, really. I Thank you. <laughs> you made my day. And now I have to figure out what to do with all of this. I will figure it out. I just, I got to do a little brainstorming. Oh, man. Oof. Oof. Okay. Again, uh, one last note, because that is how I do things. Um, oh, I pulled out one of the loops on my, my cowl. So you got to be careful with your pro projects and your crochet work. Okay, don't mind me. Okay, so again, to recap, okay, check out David Browning. Check out his channel. I like his work. Um, again, congratulations to Lena317 and Carrie Wesley. Please get in touch with me so that you can get the prize that is coming your way. And to all of you, thank you so much for watching. I hope you had fun watching me make a silly you know, fool out of myself over you guys, because your generosity just blows me away time and time and time again. Thank you. Really. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all of your amazing gifts and contributions and letters and everything like that. Thank you so very much. And, uh, you know, tomorrow, you know, got the hat coming up. So stay tuned for that. If you haven't done so, subscribe because there's always fun stuff, whether it's me vlogging and being silly or audiobook narrations or product reviews or crocheting or knitting or my video game channel, Fiber Spider Games. That's a lot of fun too. Uh, I have my Etsy store. I have my Teespring store for merchandise. I'm all over the place. I'm a hot mess. <laughs> So listen, guys, thank you again. I can't say it enough. It almost sounds redundant, but it's true. Thank you. Um, until next time, I want all of you to stay inspired, stay caffeinated, stay stitching, stay safe, take care of yourselves and each other, and stay yarny. Gotta stay yarny. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now, everybody.